Video Short Software Management in Linux Mint by Martin Jansen, owner of Jansen PC Info. In this video, we show how to install software in Linux Mint. Unlike Windows, where you might download an EXE or MSI file from various sites to install software, Linux Mint offers a software manager. You access the Software Manager by right-clicking on the LM menu, the Administration category, and then select Software Manager. Alternately, click on the LM menu and type Soft, and then select Software Manager. Upon opening, the Software Manager will feature Editor's Pick of Software Selection that it easily install in Linux Mint. At the bottom of the window, a broad selection of categories is available. Unlike Windows, where the S in Microsoft should be a dollar sign, all the software is free to use. It's free because most software is published under the Free Software Foundation licensing. The developers are mostly volunteers who maintain and update software as a labor of love. On this computer, we have no games installed, so we have no games category under the menu system. For the purposes of this video, we are going to install Isle Riot, a multi-game solitaire program. Old school, I know. To do this, I click on the Games category. From there, I see the left column a selection of game types. Board games, first-person, real-time strategies, turn-based strategy, emulators, and simulation and racing. Many write reviews of the software. Their ratings and comments are viewable when selecting the software. In this case, I know the specific name of the software I want to install. I can start to type Isle in the search selection, or I can type Solitaire to see all the games that mention Solitaire in the description. When I select Isle Riot, I see an Install Green button in the upper right corner of the screen. I click on Install, and a pop-up will appear, asking me to type in my password. This gives me temporary root or admin access while the software installs. In just a minute or so, I'll write it as installed with over 80 games for me to use and enjoy. The Games category is now created in the menu system, and I'll write it as listed ready to launch. One of my favorite comments in the Isle Riot reviews is a relief after Window 10 games intrusions. This person is referring to the constant advertising we are subjected to when the so-called free games in Microsoft and from other game de developers are used. Advertising is blissfully absent when using free software so foundation software. I hope you enjoyed this video.